what's going on YouTube welcome back to another video figured I'd do something uh, it's not really at the top of the checklist uh, for things that need to be done but it's something that needs to be done so that's uh, I guess what we're gonna do today because I'm waiting on some parts to come in and there's nothing that I can really do other than this so Alright, so the Miata needs a voltage meter installed, so I went ahead and I ordered one, and I kind of forgot I had it, or I probably would have already did this video, but uh, it's got to be mounted in the tombstone. I don't feel great drilling and cutting up this tombstone, but it's not like the perfect... Um, I don't know. It's not that nice to where I feel terrible doing it, but I don't want to do it. It's got to be done. So, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. Let me see if I can find this switch or this uh, fucking beer cans. Let's see. All right. So, I found it. All right. So, it's just a little cheap. Mm, I don't know how great that's picking up on it. Just a little cheap voltage meter, uh, digital. We're just going to be tying it in somewhere behind the dash. Obviously, uh, I'm not going to run a wire or two wires all the way back to the back, or one wire from the battery all the way up front. That'd be dumb when I can just tie into something that kicks it on when I turn the ignition. So, switched power, basically. Uh, so, what I'm thinking, and I bought some hole saw bits so I can drill that hole out to the right size. I got this piece of carbon fiber. A buddy of mine used to work at RJ Race Cars, and uh, they throw this kind of shit out all the time. And I'm like, dude, anytime you get it, you know, get any of that, and it's like still usable, bring it to me. Come on, man, don't just throw that shit away. It makes some nice panels. You never know when you need it. So I got that. Then I got this tombstone here, which, like I said, don't really want to cut this up or drill holes in it. I don't think there's going to be much cutting involved, but it's happening. I don't really care. The dash is another story. I'm not I'm not going to mangle that dash up. Well, I lied, actually. There's a spider on it. <gasps> yeah, the dash, unfortunately, will have to be cut when I do the roll cage, but hey, it's kind of what it is, so... It, it sucks because I tried to, during the entire process of this car's build, um, everything that I could recirculate into the Miata community, I uh, did. I mean, even the Frankenstein bolts, I, I tried to get rid of everything that could, you know, help the next guy out down the line that has a Miata that is, you know, not that this one wasn't really worth um, kind of restoring, but... It was, it was borderline, and I don't got the money to do that. Like, I got monster holes in the floor pan, stuff like that. Like, it's it's uh, living its best life right now, I would like to say. So, we'll go ahead and start cutting this material. Um, I've tried cutting this stuff a lot of different ways, and honestly the angle grinder kind of works the best if i had a dremel i'd use a dremel i really want one of the milwaukee uh i don't really know what it's called like a die grinder with a cutoff wheel or something like that i don't i don't know if that's the correct term for that or not but really want one of those so i might be buying one because i constantly need one on this car and i never have one and i haven't spent the money on it but it's one of them things i don't even got money to get the car where it needs to be so it's just Nickel and dime, nickel and dime. You know how that is, so. <sighs> yeah, let me uh, try and source a good area to, let me, give me a sec. All right, so this little guy right here, oh, I can't reach it. I don't want to put my hand in the way, but that little guy right there is actually the switch for um, the clutch safety. So what I did is because my switch is broke and I don't really care about a clutch safety switch. It's my car. I know push the clutch in every time anyways, and I do it by habit. I just went ahead and cut that. 
and hooked them together. So really I can just run a power off of that guy over to where the tombstone location will be and then just ground it into um, preferably the, I don't know, the car somewhere uh, firewall wise. I don't want to do it to this um, crash bar or whatever the fuck that's called. Um, I'd rather it be back there. That way, it's one less thing I gotta unhook whenever I have to pull this out. Because uh, it will have to come out a couple times. I do also have a, another brake booster uh, on the way. Unfortunately, this one is just shot. I bought it and then installed it. I did a video on that. You may or may not have seen it. Probably not. But this one actually leaks air out of pretty well every crease. I don't know. It's... It leaks air when you push, so you don't get no power brakes. And when the vacuum's hooked to it, uh, I don't remember if this is the one that just sucks the pedal all the way in or if this is the one that just does nothing at all. I think it's the one that does nothing at all. Um, even when vacuum is unplugged, that's why I got the vacuum still plugged in because then I don't have a vacuum leak. But, uh, yeah, uh, I'm getting off topic. All right, so... I guess I can kind of peel that off of there. So when you get this little guy, um, it's a one and a quarter inch backside. I think this thing was like seven bucks on eBay. <clears throat> uh, it's just a one and a quarter inch. So that's all you're gonna need for a hole saw. It's literally the exact same size. So you just need that. One thing I did forget, or I don't know if I mentioned it already, my buddy is actually doing his lowering kit uh, on his truck and needed my impact. So I lent out my impact and both Milwaukee batteries. So I don't have a drill to use right now because my drill doesn't have a battery. So I might have to wait till a little bit later tonight when he brings that back to uh, go ahead and drill us out. But what I'm thinking is, wow, the wire fell out. That's nice. What I'm thinking is basically measure out. I want to keep this area for now because I do plan on running a radio in this thing. But, here's the but. I was also thinking about doing uh, Soundstream sells a uh, Bluetooth amplifier with a basically what would look like a bass knob uh, for a volume knob. Not a bass knob. It's not a bass knob. It's a volume knob. So I wouldn't have to have a screen in this. I wouldn't have to have a head unit at all, which is kind of nice. Not that I'm going to use this for anything else, but then I got to have a um, head unit, which would be kind of nice. Just a little itty bitty amplifier somewhere underneath, probably somewhere underneath the dash there. Inconspicuous. Nobody even knows it's there. It just keep the, the whole build looking simple i wouldn't mind that instead of having a radio but that's just you know i don't know yet so i am going to leave this area here alone now once i get my piece of uh carbon fiber cut it will just come straight across i'm not going to curve or anything fancy like that it's just going to come straight across and i'll rivet here 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 and here maybe one in the center there kind of sucks i don't get a little bit more to bite in one on this but it is what it is i don't think it's going to vibrate too much so that's kind of the game plan uh like i said the best thing to cut this stuff with my opinion angle grinder with a cutoff wheel or a die grinder and it is dusty so if you ever cut into that kind of stuff just be aware of that and it itches when it gets on you too so you might want to wear gloves i don't really care i'll just itch but whatever boys remember bad content is good content but something to watch is better than nothing to watch also i want to say that uh you know instagram's uh doing pretty good right now uh any of you guys that um seen the content on instagram and jumped over to here uh, i appreciate it a lot thank you very much um while i'm waiting on my stuff to show back up so we can continue this project i just want to say 
that I'm not going to be taking the channel on here super serious at the moment. Um, obviously, I'll make videos as uh, as stuff comes in for this thing. It's not going as fast as I'd like it. Trust me, I know. That's annoying. But there will be constant, constant flow on Instagram. So if you guys did come over here from Instagram, again, I just want to say thank you very much. And uh, I do plan on, I'm going to do some merch. Uh, not a lot. Not a lot, because I'm kind of scared of doing this. But I don't want to have too much overhead and not make at least the overhead back. Every, uh, I mean, let's be real here, all right? Everybody that has merch, they're doing it for one reason. Revenue. So I'm going to buy some lanyards to start out with. I'm probably just going to buy 100 of them. Yep, you know, my little logo on there sell them, make my money back. Every dollar, every dollar that comes out of that merchandise is gonna go right into this thing. That's about where I'm at with it, uh, just being honest with you. So, boys, boys, chill, 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 okay? No, all right, look, merch doesn't just come out the nicest possible the first run, okay? Ask any anybody that YouTubes or does any sort of content, it doesn't work like that. You gotta build your way up. You gotta build your way to the top. Can't fake it till you make it. Guys, I'm just uh, talking shit, obviously. I don't know how nice these lanyards are gonna be, seriously. I mean, I know what I'm paying for them. So I don't, I don't know. But if you want one, the first 50 are gonna be one price. I don't know what that price is going to be at. And the second 50 are going to go up just a little bit. Just because, you know. I don't know. That's how most people do it. That thing sounds like it's gonna explode at any moment. Part numbers all over the road. All right, so remember I said uh, angle grinders work really well on carbon fiber. Yes, this is real carbon fiber. It's the best tool you can use besides die grinders. So now we got this guy here. Kind of just mock it up something like that. I might cut it just a pinch Oh, we're looking all right. It ain't perfect, but I will grind down the edges just a little bit. When you're working with this stuff, you do gotta be careful because you're gonna wanna clean up your edges a little bit, but if you get too deep into it, then the fibers start hanging out and then it just looks like shit. So you don't wanna get too carried away trying to clean it up. It ain't gonna be perfect. Um, and I, I mean, personally, I'm not shooting for perfect, but uh, the hell, the only reason I'm even using this material is because I just have it laying around, so. Not too big of a fan of carbon fiber, honestly, but uh, hey, we're gonna use it and it'll look all right, so. Next, I'm just gonna go ahead and probably throw you guys on a time lapse, drill some holes, rivet this thing together, and then, uh, yeah, I gotta figure out exactly where I wanna put my uh, mark for the uh, voltmeter itself, so yeah, let's go ahead and get into that. All right, so, unfortunately, the old girl, uh, she's been through hell. The screw that goes down through the center to keep the chuck from flying off, uh, got up and left, so I gotta buy a new drill now, but I got everything drilled that I needed, except for, which we're, we're still able to do it, uh, I need to figure out where I want to mount this volt meter at and I'm thinking probably right there and then we'll have extra real estate for any uh switches that we might need in the future I doubt there will be any I'm I don't know I don't want like I don't it's not it ain't, I don't want it to look like I'm getting in a fucking spaceship come on now but uh I do want to know what my voltage is precisely so uh 
yeah, it's working out pretty good so far. Unfortunately, I couldn't get a rivet in right here. There's just not enough bite, but overall, I mean, it is pretty, I don't know, it'll work. It's good enough. I could always run some super glue along the backside here if it bothered me that much. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and drop this hole and uh, I'm gonna off camera measure out where I need this to be so it'll be dead center. So yeah. Well, here goes nothing. Yes, I'm just eyeballing this. Wow, that actually worked really good. I'm pretty stoked on that. Wow. So now this should fit right there, nice and neat. We'll try it right now. And then like I said, I'll just wire that in somewhere behind the dash. That way we don't have to run wires all the way to the battery because that'd be stupid. A little bit bigger hole than it needs to be, but it's gonna work. Should be just fine. Should be just fine. Yeah. I like it. Just like that. All right, boys, so let's see. Let me get you set down in a decent spot here. Well, actually, hold on. So, all right, yep, recording, cool. All right, so, well, that ain't gonna work. So basically, there's this box right here it's for your airbags and if you take that out which you don't need this <clears throat> obviously I, well you guys might if you got a miata but like a normal miata <laughs> i don't obviously have any airbags so i'm not too concerned about this so you can get rid of this little guy here and then this one if you're cutting your miata this is where your door dinger, or I don't know if it's door dinger or uh, seat belt chime. I don't even know if Miata's have that. I fucking started cutting this thing up right when I got it, so I never even drove it as a normal Miata. Um, this plug here, where'd you go, little guy? Yeah, you're right there. The black one, and then this one, if you need your chime to go away, you unplug this one right here and it'll make it stop chiming. This thing I can tear out. I don't need none of this. But that's for later this winter. I'm gonna go through this whole harness and get rid of some shit. Cause I want it to be a little more simple. Anyways, this plug right here is switch power. So what I went ahead and did is I cut this wire. I'm gonna twist it up a little bit. Then, I'm gonna go ahead and grab uh, one of these guys here. This is fucking real easy shit. Anybody can do this. I'm not good at wiring at all. But anybody can do this. Alright, so I'm just going to stick this. And this is temporary, like I said, because I do plan on going through this harness just to make it a little simpler. There's too much shit going on behind the dash, and I don't like that. I'm going to slip that guy on there. Now, for those of you that don't know, I'm sure most of you watching probably do know. 
red blue yellow those are your normal colors for your different kinds of adapters just bring the red to the red on the pair of flyers and squeeze it pretty sure most of you know this i'm just saying for the guys that might not know never hurts to learn so now that's in there i'm pretty happy with that actually so <coughs> now i can bring my tombstone up here obviously i'm gonna want my wires going through here now i do plan on adding a quick disconnect in here okay that temporary shit's gotta go to make sure it worked i just kind of wrap the ground around something random anyway so now i'll take this guy and literally you don't even need a if you're if you're if you're putting in a voltage meter you don't need a multimeter to find voltage obviously you can just use the voltage meter that you're installing like i did i mean it's kind of common sense but <laughs> you'd be surprised I kind of broke mine earlier today when I was trying to do this and find a good source power. And I'm like, well, why don't I just use the voltage meter that I'm trying to install? It does make it a little bit more difficult, but... So, there we go. Now we got power going to the voltage meter. Now, I just need to cut and figure out some sort of a ground... Let me make sure I got the camera in a decent spot. Yes, I do. Okay, so this guy right here. Um, I don't know what a good ground's gonna be, really. I, I might have to sand some of this away, but let's see if this works. Yes. Now, one thing I did realize is I am actually having an issue with my alternator. Let me get out of this thing. I am having an issue with my alternator, uh, which is unfortunate. I don't know if I got food on my mouth. I just got done eating. eating. But uh, I'm hoping it's not the alt. If it is, it ain't the biggest thing in the world. Whatever. I already got a bunch of new shit on the car. So if it is, then hey, I'm eating a bowl on that. But, let's see if I have a, let me guess, 10 or 12 mil. 10 mil. Go over here where our little bullshit bin. Look at that. Well, that should do the job. I'll catch up with you here in a sec. Alright, so... Unfortunately, the only one that I have that'll fit over one of them studs, and I actually don't have any sandpaper, I thought I did. Uh, I do have a wire wheel, but my drill's broke. Uh, the only one I got's a blue one. It'll work. It's not much that bigger of a diameter, so it's not like it's that big of a deal, but I don't remember the exact size of wire that this is. The red ones fit it best. This'll work. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, slip that guy on here. I'll twist this first. Slide that in there. See what I mean? It just comes too far back in there, but whatever. It doesn't really matter. Not really that big of a deal. I'll just go to the blue one. Squish it there. Usually, I just use a pair of uh, my Nifex or Nifex or whatever. Or like Matco flyers or whatever they are. I don't know. That's good. So now, stick that there. I'll show you that here in a sec. Well, I'll show it to you done. Because I ain't going to record that. It's dumb. Alright, so I ended up having to extend this wire because i'm a dumbass and didn't realize that uh 
the net that I had is the wrong thread pitch for this. I thought it was all metric, but the ones I grabbed weren't, and I don't have any metric. So I extended it up over to here, and I happen to have a metric uh, bolt that fit in there. So now, like I was saying earlier, I don't even know if the camera's picking that up. 9.3. So, even when the car is running, it's staying at that. If I charge the battery, it goes up to 12. When the car's running, it just goes down and then it holds a consistent number and the car stays running. So I think the alternator is weak, which is unfortunate, but hey, I am not going to bitch about buying a new alternator. Never hurts. So we're all good there. I've got plenty of room left over in case I need to add any sort of accessories. And uh, yeah, it's pretty mint. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this mediocre video. Uh, I just figured I'd record it. No one, anything crazy, but uh, it was something to record and it's something to watch. Remember, bad content is good content. It's my philosophy, at least. Uh, if you did enjoy, though, drop a comment. I love reading the, content, uh, the comments down below. I, I read through that stuff. I try to... Uh, always reply back and stuff like that and any comments or opinions uh feel free to drop them down below i'm open to anything um if you want like the video that'd be sick i'd appreciate it uh if you don't hey no uh no big deal anyways i think we're gonna leave it off there and uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed i'll catch you in the next one